Hi, this is Mark Pendewittering. Uh, I just got home a little while ago, and uh, as part of my project to figure out how to drive uh, the little transmitter that I made the other day, which is sitting around here somewhere, um, I want to generate an analog output from this Arduino. And, you know, there's library functions to generate analog outputs, except for the fact that, well, what it really generates are these pulse width modulated outputs. So basically this program just cycles between four different analog values that it writes on the pin. And what you can see is that it's not really an analog value at all, that it's just using pulse width modulation to shift between uh, ground and five volts there. And uh, even on my crappy scope, it uh, displays it actually pretty nicely. So what I'm going to do in the next few hours, after I complete my gym workout tonight, is uh, construct a little RC low-pass filter and then hook it up to the uh, transmitter, the QRSS transmitter that I made, and hopefully that will do it. If I've done my math correctly, uh, these values will actually get squelched out into um, not quite perfectly flat, but much closer to flat uh, values, and or you know it'll it'll converge to a DC value rather than toggling between these two. Um, if I fed this to the transmitter, I suspect the transmitter would just warble between two frequencies. It wouldn't actually generate the intermediate frequencies that I want. So, wish me luck, and uh, maybe later tonight or tomorrow, you'll begin to see uh, something uh, slightly more impressive. Have a good one.